we just dumped a couple of logs in here. This is the, I've shown you this before, just eroded away um, the floods that we had in Canterbury here. Um, so I dumped a couple of logs in there and then I'm going to walk the digger back uh, from down the road here and we will try and grab that bigger butt log, put it in this hole and then lay some stuff over the top and just try and fill this in, stop it eroding through there. So we'll give it a go. Don't know if it'll work, but uh, yeah, try and do something. up here at the tower, um, communications tower, with Nick again from Total Wireless. Okay. Um, so we just he's just put in a permanent site, um, taking the trailer mounted one away. So what do we got? What's all the what's all the good stuff on here? Uh, so basically primary upgrades is yeah as you said getting away from being a sort of uh, temporary um, sort of setup to a more permanent solution. Um, so pretty much the same solar setup um, but a much uh, bigger battery capacity so we're up around three and a half thousand amp hours versus probably about 500 before um, we've got a bit more comms gear in here now we're uh, supporting some paging equipment for st john's ambulance in the oxford area um yeah so we we had the st john's trailer up here as a yeah, trial temporarily that didn't, didn't last too long didn't end up too well we ended up down the gully down there so, so yeah hopefully we uh we don't uh, end up in the same situation which i'm pretty confident we won't but um cool yeah so Really just, um, yeah, just getting into more of a, a permanent state and, um, yeah, adding some extra capacity, make sure that it can support the needs throughout winter and uh, long periods of um, dull weather like we've got today. So, yep. yeah, 28 degrees probably yesterday, um, <laughs> something for buggery, and now Down to 10. raining and, yeah, maybe under 10 degrees, so that's yeah. Canterbury for you. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah. Um, so on here we've got Oxford Ags, what, well, RTs, so yeah, communications. Yeah, the DMR two-way radio system, yep. yep. Um, we've got... Uh, RTK for the precision drilling and all that sort of stuff as well, base station. Yep. Um, yeah, and yeah, just some general VHF comms. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what it's housed yep. at the moment. There's a bit of capacity left, so um, yeah, just trying to plan for the future to uh, make sure that you know if we need to add something down the track, we've got a bit of, bit of headroom. So yep. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we could uh, tick this one off the list and um, move on to the next site. Yeah, and then we just got to shift this fence, put a gate in here, make yep. sure the yeah. stock don't get in here and rub and cause too much drama. Keep so, the stock out and yeah. yeah just keep it keep it accessible for servicing and stuff which yep. um, yeah, it's gonna work pretty good I think so yeah. Cool. All right, thanks Nick. Well thanks for having us up again Al. Yeah always Cheers. good to be out here. No worries. Even on a even on an average day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Without the view see yeah, there's, yeah. there's there's no no view today. Yeah. <laughs> just on the way down from the east trip one job I've got to do is take the bulls out of these cows so these cows need to shift. So we're just uh, going to run them through a gate here into the next paddock to try and cut these balls out. Uh, where are they? Oh, yeah, 
There's one there. There's a fella up there. Fitty, fitty. Come on. There we go, just like that. Beautiful ball there, Angus ball there, another one up in here that we cut off the tractor on the way down, and cows and calves in here. It's too easy. You know, let these fellas wander down uh, back home, and um, they can go into their ball paddock. Good morning. Um, yesterday the weather clouded in after we. Um, Got those balls out so we didn't really do much in the afternoon um they got the tower put up just up here so today we're out the back again uh just mustering this paddock just got a few used to pull out of here um just as way down the gully down there somewhere uh yeah so we don't know whether we'll actually wean this afternoon just with the way the weather is uh towards the west is a bit cloudy but towards the east is uh, actually finding up so yeah, we'll just play it by ear and see how we go, but we'll get some of these mustard down uh, closer to the yards. Ready for the weekend, maybe. Got Dad coming down on Saturday or tomorrow, so he can give us a hand, hopefully. Um, must have, uh, wean some on Sunday, and then our main weaning at the least lock on uh, on Monday. So yeah, we'll just uh, continue to bark these up and, uh, and wander up the hill. He's Jasper over there, Jasper over there. So just while I'm standing out here waiting for these ewes to make their way slowly up the hill way over there, um, this is all our developed country. So there's about 100 hectares on this side of this main ridge. Runs all the way up this side of this gully. And when we got here seven years ago, uh, the gorse and broom was probably eight feet tall, two meters, well over my head. You see some of the stumps here, some of the, you know, like this bugger here. Pretty big, uh, pretty big stump. So we sprayed it twice with a helicopter, and then uh, our beef cows have done a good job in here, pushing in, breaking it all down. Now it's up to the ewes to go in and, and nip off the regrowth. 
Um, so we've fixed up all the fences, like that's an original fence there that was on the ground. So we put a mulcher through with a digger, fix that up. This fence here is a new one we put in. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work. Still need some more. Uh, the paddock over there, hopefully we're going to fence that up again because that's 20 hectares, it's too big. It needs to be split in half. And then needs a water supply put all the way through here. Um, coming from a spring way up the gully up here with a solar pump probably and a 30,000 litre tank, about 12 troughs feeding both sides of the ridge. So a lot of work to do. That's 20 grand at least to do that kind of water supply there. So um, yeah, we're harvesting some trees down the bottom that blew over in the wind. Uh, starting hopefully in the next week or 10 days or so. Uh, so hopefully there's going to be some bit of spare cash from that job and we can use that to do some more development out here in the back. That's the plan anyway. So. Right, those ewes have gone up and around the top. So we'll wander back up to the sob side and uh, follow them around. So just mustering them down to the airstrip. Um, that's the hill house there if you're new to the channel. Hopefully you can hear me because of the wind. Um, it's on Airbnb, links in the description, but it's called uh, the Hill House on the Grange. Um, yeah, pretty awesome spot, especially when it's clear night and stars, and you can see it over across church over here. So, pretty magical. Have a look. Just up here doing the last bit of hill mustering, and we've got some horses down there, so I just wait for them to go through that gate before I go down there. So, um, if you didn't know that we let horse riders on here as well, so they pay uh, either an annual fee or a casual rate for a day ride and bring their own horse, and then we've got some tracks set up or just marked around the farm. So then they just uh, ride around and yeah, it's quite popular. Um, they get quite, quite happy to, to pay to have a hill country farm to walk around that's safe and uh, and, and pretty close to Christchurch too. So um, if you, yeah, if that interests you, or if you know of anyone who would like that around the uh, Canterbury area, um, yeah, our email is in the description as well. It's nearly home. Go on, girls, nearly home. Sit, sit, Alfie. Good boy. Back. Where are you two little buggers going? Cuz, Jasper, get up. Cuz, Blue. Blue. Get up, Alfie. Oh, you're a bit hot, are you? Perfect, just as the sun comes out, we're finished. Come on, wee one. So we've got the, look at this, look at this day now. It's beautiful. So we've got these, um, this wee mop here to do. Just run through the yards, uh, take a while lambs off, crutch the ewes. What we're going to do differently for these ones is we're actually going to weigh draft the ram lambs. Uh, anything over 35 kilos can go prime. And then anything under that will just go on giraffe no or on the grass. So get these noisy buggers out. It's 
so um, that was quite successful. Um, we've got a few prime lambs that drafted out, and yeah, the other ewe lambs and small ram lambs drenched um, away in their paddock. So these all just joining these back up with these ewes. They'll hang out this hill paddock until Monday. Uh, join up with some more tomorrow, hopefully, some prime ones that we'll draft out then. And um, yeah, and we'll send them off to the works. Yeah, they're looking good actually, these hill ones. Quite happy with them. Good boy, Jasper! Good boy! Good boys! Right, so uh, these are the ones we mustered down this morning. We're just uh, taking them a bit closer to the yards tonight so we can get into these uh, first thing in the morning. Um, hopefully pull sort of like 50 odd prime lambs out of here and then uh, yeah, have a draft up of the lease block on Monday uh, and then everything will be weaned, which will be magnificent. So thanks for watching. Um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.